In this video, we're just going to look at the one thing, and that is how the alkenes react with the halogens. Now, remember, halogens are the elements in group seven. So that's fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And we're going to look at how they react with the alkenes. So alkenes will react with the halogens to form this thing called a halo alkane. Now the halo alkane means that it has a halogen and then the alkane part means that there are only single bonds between the carbon atoms. So actually what will happen here is the double bond will break, will disappear and become a single bond. So if we take for example ethene Okay, so ethene is C2H4, and if we use bromine, okay, so plus Br2, okay. Now what will happen here is the double bond will break. So because the double bond breaks, we now get our carbons joined by a single bond. The hydrogens will stay where they were in the first place. Also, the bond between the bromine atoms breaks. Now the bromines, because every carbon atom can make four bonds, the bromines are able to add themselves onto the carbon atoms there. This then makes this substance C2H4Br2, okay? And this is called dibromoethane, okay? So if I write this name out, uh, write the word equation out, sorry. So the word equation here is ethene, sorry, let me rub that out. So the word equation is ethene plus bromine becomes, I'll use a different color for that, becomes, sorry, di bromo, which means two bromines. And we can see the two bromines there. So dibromoethane, and you can see that it's become ethane because the double bond has broken, making the single bond, okay? So when the alkenes react with the halogens, something called an addition reaction happens. And this addition reaction basically means that the halogen is adding on to the alkene. And as it adds on to the alkene, the double bond breaks, becomes a single bond. So what we're left with at the end is this thing called a halo alkane. Now, in terms of naming this, this then becomes di bromo, so two bromines, and then ethane because we've got the two carbon atoms with the single bond. If I was reacting ethene and chlorine, for example, that would then become dichloroethane, okay? Uh, if I used propene and bromine, that would then become dibromopropane, okay? So just to summarize then, the alkenes will react with halogens by addition reactions to form haloalkanes, okay? And those haloalkanes always, at the beginning of their name, will have di. And the di means two. So both of the halogen atoms. So for example, di chloro, di bromo. And then whatever the number of carbons is, so ethane, propane, etc. etc. Now we can use bromine water. This is a really useful test to test for the presence of a double bond in a molecule, so an unsaturated molecule, because the bromine water will change from orange to colors. When bromine's by itself, it's that orange color, so I've been showing it in a red pen. And 
then as it reacts and joins to something else the color disappears and it becomes colorless so using this addition reaction with an alkene is really useful when we're testing for the presence of an alkene the presence of a double bond or an unsaturated molecule okay well i hope that helps